our experience of population health helped us to be successful throughout the pandemic and really identify the subsets of populations that were COVID positive, that were appropriate for the monoclonal antibodies. Geisinger is an integrated delivery system. We serve central and northeastern Pennsylvania. Some communities are very, very rural. We also serve some medium-sized cities. We became aware of the monoclonal antibodies, I would say, in October of 2020. We wanted to reach any patient that was eligible. And we really thought about them in two groups, those patients who live in the community and those patients who reside in facilities, places like rehab hospitals, nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, assisted livings. We would take it to the people in the facility because we thought it would be very difficult for some of those patients to be transported to us. And then we set up infusion centers. We had our data team Every day they generate a report of every patient who became positive in the last 24 hours. And they could actually mine our data for people who are at high risk. So every day we would call patients who had positive COVID tests and offer them the monoclonal antibody. We also developed a referral network where if we didn't know if they tested positive outside of our system, they could call us and we could schedule them that way. One of our strategies was encouraging people to become tested when they were symptomatic. So they would be tested positive earlier in the course of their illness. We've been in these communities for many, many decades. So I think having that trust helped us, nothing else that they would answer the phone. We have to really listen to our patients, listen to what their concerns are, and really try to segment what are the reasons why, if we have a recommended treatment in any area or a vaccine, let's talk about the reasons why you don't think this is a good idea. Then we provide the information that meets that patient's needs. It was not a one-size-fits-all in messaging. In the rural communities, it was get to the churches, get to the grocery stores, get, you know, the old fashion pamphlets up. We stood up these infusion sites in two weeks. I mean, it would usually take us months to be able to do that at our normal pace. We had a real nursing shortage. We knew we needed a nurse to start the infusion, and we knew we needed a second person to be able to help them. And the second person needed to be able to put an IV in, be able to treat a patient if they do have an allergic reaction, and be able to work with the nurse. And that's all within the scope of practice of a paramedic. So it was a really good way where we could let our nurses go to the hospital wards and the other places where we needed nursing and have a nurse and a paramedic team together. In the past, we've innovated in months and years, and during the pandemic, we innovated in hours and days. We worked very hard to be a trusted partner in the communities, to find the needy and the vulnerable patients, to make sure that we could serve them. I think you really have to meet people where they are.